right, let's get a little obscure. Uh, late 80s, back when probably Batman the movie came out, is when I kind of started collecting these things, and these started, things started popping up all over the place. Applause. Uh, this is the name of the company. I don't know if they're still around or what. I didn't do any research before making this video, but uh, they used to put out little figures like these, little PVC figures. I'm sure they, you know, some company still puts out PVC figures, but I used to get these in like stocking stuffers and stuff back in the day, and I always kind of liked them. These are the two I always have on my my shelf, even though the sculpts are kind of bad. Look how weirdly proportioned as one leg is compared to how short the other leg is, but since they had no movable joints, they kind of weren't much to play with. It was just, you know, kind of a little figure you like to put in your pocket and walk around with and stuff just because you needed to carry a toy with you because you were weird like that. Take to school, put them in your desk, stuff like that. They're pretty fun. I like these. You get them at like Spencer's or something for like two bucks back in the day. This is a more recent one. Those are from probably like 1989, but uh, this I got at Six Flags uh, New England a few years ago. So this is also sitting on my shelf, and I was looking at that, and I was dusting them off because it's a little dirty, but uh, made me think about where where'd the rest of all my other ones go. So I knew I was hiding them in a coffee can, and I dug out the coffee can. Look, it's still dirty. It's in the back of my closet. Let's see what's in here. Weird little Batman credit cards. Uh, this one's got a neat story. In case you're out on a, the streets or something. Show this card and you know, everybody's going to know you're with the Joker. Nobody's going to mess with you. Same with Batman. Show that to any criminals and they're like, they're going to turn their heels and run as they sense Batman's presence close to you. Let's see what we got. We got... Dick Tracy. You know that's from the summer of 1990. A lot of merchandising that year. We got a Batman. What else we got? We got another Spider-Man. We got the Tick. I know that's from uh, when I worked at Toys R Us because I used to pocket things. Not proud of it, but I did it. It's also from the summer of 89, the greatest summer of all time, when uh, Batman came out. A Bullwinkle. He feels kind of gooey and gross. He's a little bit softer. I don't know if he's uh, applause, but uh, that's pretty cool. And we got a Gumby from Trend Masters. And I think there's other Gumbies in the cane can. Another Gumby. It's two different kinds. There's like the late 60s Gumby and then late 50s Gumby. Pokey. I was real into Gumby back in the day. I ain't gonna lie. Yet another Gumby. All three of them look different. They look like they're the same mold, but they're different color, and that one's obviously a different head. I think that one came with Pokey. We got Flat Top. Another Batman. And, and, what else we have? We got Itchy. Ah, whatever. We got Robin. And... We got The Rocketeer. That was a great movie. It bombed. I'm probably the only person who bought the merchandise of it back in the day. It looks like there's crap on his face. Here's, here's some interesting ones. They look like the exact mold of uh, Classic Kenner. I got these at Disney World, Star Tours, back in the mid-90s. Look at that, pretty cool. A nice collection of little PVC figures. 
We got another Batman. We got movie Batman. It's basically just a repaint of the other one. And we got a Batman whose Batarang strings come unraveled and they're supposed to stick to a window. I remember buying this one at the mall and me and my friend both got one at the same day and we went hung out at his house and just before I was leaving I know he switched on them. He switched them out on me because mine would stick to a window, his didn't, and then when I got home to stick mine to a window, uh, it didn't stick. So I know that's this one's his. Still pissed about that, and that was 1989. But these figures were really fun. I loved these. I don't know if this video brings back any memories for anybody else. It's pretty obscure, but I figured I'd document it some people out there show my collection especially I love Gumby look at that a little Gumby collection I mean they would release like whatever hot movie were supposed to be hot movie coming out they'd make a bunch of figures like we had summer Dick Tracy summer of Batman uh, Marvel was heating up comic books because you had spider-man and Captain America to jump on the Batman craze you know, 91, I think it was, Rocketeer, whatever fad. They were just nice, cheap toys. Look, they, did, they, they didn't even bother sculpting anything new. They just took an old Kenner figure and made a mold. Fun stuff. Yeah, after being, uh, sitting around for about a good 20 years or so in a coffee can, these things kind of feel a little gross. They feel a little slimy. So I might have to run them under the sink. Batman and Batman. I sure do like to collect doubles. Figure these were a set, and then when the, the movie came out, it's like, alright, we'll just recolor them in black. Alright, everybody, back in the coffee can. Some of these are going to hang out on my shelf. I like to switch stuff out, you know. Rotate the toys.